If you come to Sweden in the winter time, you will see signs like this pretty much everywhere. If you don't know what this means, then Google Translate is surprisingly unhelpful. Like, really unhelpful. So what the heck is going on? Every winter when Stockholm gets a fresh batch of snow, an army of rooftop workers take to the roofs all around town to clear the snow off. A practice that I have never seen before in America. But why is that? Well, supposedly there are two main reasons. The first being the safety of people so that they aren't hit by falling icicles. Secondly, many buildings in Stockholm are hundreds of years old, in some cases older than the United States of America itself. If there's too much snow on the roof, the weight could potentially cause a collapse for some of the older buildings around town. Now, I'm actually not sure if this is something that happens anywhere in the US where I'm from. We didn't get like super heavy, consistent snowfall, although we would get snow from time to time in Portland. From all the research that I did about shoveling roofs in America to see if this was a thing there, all the articles that came up online were basically guidelines for homeowners. And the guidelines basically said that it was probably not a good idea to shovel your roofs because modern construction and the modern codes in these snowy areas in America can normally withstand even the most heavy snowfall. But of course, there are exceptions and that's not always the case. This is something that I definitely notice walking around the streets of Stockholm that somebody will have a sidewalk completely blocked off and people are sort of walking into the street to avoid the basically the danger zone of all of the snow and ice being shoveled off the roofs. In any given winter month this happens more times than I can even count. Keeping it with this wintry theme, the next thing that I want to talk about is early morning road maintenance. If you go for a walk here in Stockholm at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning, the only things that you'll see out and about are basically snow plows that are constantly clearing the roads. Anytime there's heavy snow file, the Swedes are 100% on top of it, clearing every road, every pathway that even if there's heavy, heavy snow one day, a bicyclist could take their bike to work the next morning, pretty much no problem. On the one hand, this is super nice, but sometimes it definitely has its drawbacks. As somebody who lives in the city and has a staircase right outside my window, I've definitely woken up to people chipping away at the ice with hammers that were making loud pinging and clanging sounds at three in the morning. Add earplugs to the list of things to survive around here. The last thing that I want to talk about is the gravel, and this stuff gets everywhere. I don't think in America we use gravel in the same amount or the same ways that they do here in Sweden. And from doing my research, Americans use a ton of salt to treat their roads in the wintertime. I think from what I could tell, Sweden uses some salt too, but I think the ratio of salt that we use in America is probably a lot higher because in Sweden, they're definitely relying on this gravel to provide a lot of traction to people. Although it's relatively effective to prevent trips and falls, this stuff gets absolutely everywhere. It's like the perfect size to get lodged in your shoes and tracked inside the house. Pretty much any time I have company over, I have to spend 10 minutes mopping my entryway after they leave. All this snow slush slask mix of gravel and ice and water, it all just gets mixed up, it gets clocked onto the shoes, and as soon as they come into the house, it just gets everywhere. Now you can see why people don't wear shoes indoors in Sweden. Where I went to college in America, we had a lot of snow. And I remember sometimes there would be college parties where we would have summer theme parties in the winter time. I don't know why we'd have like beaches and bikini party in, in the middle of February with a ton of snow. And I remember there were days when girls would be walking around bikini. Granted, it was maybe just a couple minutes from where they were living to get to the party, but walking around like this in the dead of winter, or even in some cases wearing high heels, slipping on the ice, and our roads were not treated nearly as well in this small American town. I don't know why I thought that story was relevant. I guess I'm just trying to say that Swedes are maybe a little bit more practical sometimes. Anyway, on my run today, I noticed all of these signs and I wanted to make a quick video about it, telling you guys about it. So if you come to Stockholm and you see those signs and you see the gravel everywhere and you see all this stuff going around to maintain the life in Sweden in the wintertime, now you know why. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I just realized I